Teen Titans Go. What? No. More like Toddler Titans No. Oh my god. This show sucks. This show ruined the original Teen Titans. One of my favorite shows on Cartoon Network. This show is about these five weird looking superheroes and they like to go on awful missions. But wait a minute. Are they superheroes or not? They don't seem to be superheroes seriously. Anyways, to the characters. Robin likes to teach kids bad and dumb lessons. And also, do you want to see a picture of him crying? Here you go. As you can see, in this picture. Robin is crying just because his stick broke. Oh really? You have got to be kidding me. If your stick broke, doesn't mean you have to run away and cry like a tiny helpless baby. What kind of sick do you have an obsession with this stick? Sticks don't move you know? Bullshit. That's completely bullshit to have an obsession with this stick. Beast Boy likes to act like Spongebob. Want to see the next picture? Here you go. As you can see, in this picture. Beast Boy and Cyborg are modern Spongebob and modern Patrick, and they sing a bad song about waffles. What? Waffles? No. More like onions. This song is so annoying. Oh, and Beast Boy also sucks at counting. Because in one episode, when he tries to count, he starts at zero. Oh really? You have got to be kidding me. You don't start at zero when you count. You start at one. Cyborg is too loud. He can't get anything done. When the song The Night Begins to Shine starts, Starfire is a huge scaredy cat. Do you want to see the next picture? Here you go. As you can see, in this picture, Starfire is screaming just because she is afraid of clowns. What the living fuck? She is just a teenager. Teen is the main title of the show. And she acts like a toddler. She is also a drama queen. Like in this picture. Starfire is crying just because her pet fish died. But Beast Boy said that her fish is alive. But she tricked her with that annoying toast. And she drank all the water in the fish bowl and burped without saying excuse me. And it all caused Robin to vomit. That proves up that this show has toilet humor. In another picture. Starfire is licking her pet Silky. Am I supposed to find this funny? No. It's disgusting. Oh. And Starfire also likes to say the word, the, too much. In one episode, she puts the word, the, in front of every word. That's very annoying, right? Raven is a dumbass. Robin tricked her by putting her into her yearbook by saying, as are at Metrian Zinthos. And she also called herself dumb. And Silky. Well, nobody gives a shit about him. Not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine either. Not even 10, not even 100, not even 1000, not even 10,000, not even 100,000, not even 1 million, and not even infinity. You can tell that nobody gives a shit about Silky it's because he is not in this picture. My apologies have gone to the original voice cast of the original Teen Titans, such as Greg Sipes, Scott Menville, Curry Payton, Tara Strong and Hyndon Walsh who had to voice this abomination. There was an episode where Robin kissed Cyborg, which is just completely disgusting. Also when the daylight savings time started, there was an episode where they say that farmers invented daylight savings time. Are they dumbasses or something? Benjamin Franklin was the one who invented daylight savings time, not farmers. Oh, and did I forget to mention that the creators of this show can't handle any more criticism? along with the whole show teaching kids bad lessons. For example, books are dangerous, intelligence is bad, childish behavior is acceptable, being serious makes you look like a complete idiot and not taking everything seriously is fine, forgetting your childhood, hoarding is okay, sexism is acceptable, etc. All these lessons that they said is not innocent and dumb. Damn it. Did I forgot to mention that in episode, Doomsday Preppers, there was a scene where Doomsday said that he's not gonna hurt them. What the fuck? He's supposed to be a villain in this show. Not its friends. And I can't believe that Tasha Bishop, who's known for voicing Lincoln Loud from seasons 4 to 5 of The Loud House, has decided to voice this abomination. Even though I like The Loud House. Anyways, back to ranting. They also have stupid crossovers. The first crossover is with the Powerpuff Girls for 2016. Oh really? You have got to be kidding me. Why would they have to do this with the Craig McCracken show? But actually, Craig McCracken didn't create the Powerpuff Girls for 2016. Nick Jennings and Bob Boyle did. The second one is with Unikitty, a spin-off of the Lego movie. Even though I like Unikitty, but I hate this crossover. The third one is with Scooby-Doo.
even though I like Scooby-Doo, but I hate this crossover, and the fourth one is with DC Superhero Girls, even though I like DC Superhero Girls, but I hate this crossover, damn it, did I forgot to mention that they also have another crossover with other Hanna-Barbera, Warner Brothers, Cartoon Network, and DC Comics characters on its special episode dedicated to the 100th anniversary of Warner Brothers, that crossover also sucks. If ever wanted to watch a crossover episode with other characters, I would rather stick to, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Crossover Nexus, an episode from OKKO. OK Let's Be Heroes, Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers movie from 2022, and Disney, Once Upon a Studio. They're way better than this garbage. And also, Cartoon Network made a stupid promo saying that Teen Titans Go is our new favorite show. Are they really that dumb? Teen Titans Go is not my favorite show. SpongeBob SquarePants, My Life as a Teenage Robot, The Fairly Odd Parents, The Loud House, The Casa Grands, Hi Hi Puffy Ami Yumi, The Original Teen Titans, Pokemon, Annoying Orange, The Powerpuff Girls, Tom and Jerry, Animaniacs, The Looney Tunes Show, The Tom and Jerry Show, Finally Ars and Ferb, Pucker, Star vs. The Forces of Evil, Gravity Falls, DuckTales, House of Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Family Guy, American Dad, The Simpsons, The Cleveland Show, Bob's Burgers, Beavis and Butthead, South Park, Harvey Girls Forever, Hilda, Super Mario Logan, and Magiki are all of my real favorite shows. Cartoon Network is an evil and a cruel opinion disrespecting Homer Zabian. And as you can see on the Cartoon Network schedule, on the final week of 2017, Cartoon Network aired Teen Titans Go all week long until January 1st, 2018, but with only two episodes of Steven Universe aired on that week, but with 384 episodes of Teen Titans Go and two episodes of Steven Universe aired on that week. And other Cartoon Network shows didn't have to air on that week. This show also has some pretty fucked up movies, the first movie is called Teen Titans Go to the movies. What? Teen Titans Go. To the movies? No. More like toddler titans no. To the military school. This movie sucks. And even worse, there was a scene where Starfire says that the water tower is where the Animaniacs live. Is she a dumbass or something? That's just a water tower, not the Animaniacs home. As you can see in these pictures, this is what the water tower looks like in real life, and this is what the water tower looks like in Animaniacs. And even worse, Water Tower Music made its movie soundtrack which are songs that are not performed by Puffy Ami Yumi. Thank God I didn't saw this movie in theaters and I never will, otherwise it would waste my time. The second movie is called Teen Titans Go vs Teen Titans, which I'm okay with that movie. The third movie is called Teen Titans Go See Space Jam. What? Teen Titans Go See Space Jam? No. More like Toddler Titans No rejected from seeing Space Jam. This movie sucks. The fourth movie is a crossover with DC Superhero Girls called Teen Titans Go and DC Superhero Girls. Mayhem in the Multiverse. Like I said, even though I like DC Superhero Girls, but I hate this crossover. It even has a mobile game called Teeny Titans. Teen Titans Go. What? Teeny Titans. Teen Titans Go? No. More like Failure Titans. Toddler Titans No. This mobile game sucks. It even has another mobile game called Teen Titans Go. Figure. Teen Titans Go Figure? No. More like Toddler Titans No Failure. This mobile game sucks. I can't believe I watched this show back in 2014. But after seeing one of Tim Camaro's runs, I started to hate it. The animation is shit. The stories are lame, the jokes are not funny and disgusting, the music, songs and the theme song are all of kind of okay, and the characters are annoying. I really hope that this show gets cancelled after season 8, but if this show will get renewed for season 9, if so, I hope this show gets cancelled after season 9. I hope this show gets taken off the air on Cartoon Network and removed from HBO Max for good. And I hope this show will never come back with no second chances. Do you know who likes this show? Zyzo the show fan 2007. He used to hate this show, but now he started to like Teen Titans Go, only seasons 1 and 2. But he hates the rest of it. But I can handle his opinion. And do you know who hates this show? Make either Brooklyn Animator, MPC Mapping, Super SpongeBob SquarePants Logan 3rd Channel. McLaren Gaming Studios, 
Kayla XD 2009, Tim Kamara 1513, Woody Miku and Sara Snap Fan 917, McConaughey 503, The BFDI Fan 2009, Lambo Rock Strikes Back, and Jonathan's Media Shack. They all made rants on this show. So screw Teen Titans Go, screw its films, and screw its mobile games. The original Teen Titans is one hour times better than Teen Titans Go. End of rant.